Some tradespeople are just born with what I call carpenter's ears. Their ears are tight to their head, tight enough that they can slide a pencil in there and it will stay there. I was not born with carpenter's ears, so I can put a pencil there, it will stay there, but not for long. That being the case, I needed to come up with another habit. In other words, use the pencil, not behind the ear. My technique, my habit, is I have two of them. If I'm wearing a tool belt, the, the pencil, this is an old Occidental belt that I've had for many years, and the pencil goes right there, right there. There's a spot. There's actually two spots, a spot for two pencils. And it's, it's right next to my knife. My knife always goes in the same spot. The pencil it always goes in the same spot. I usually don't have to look down. And uh, I got the speed square goes in the same spot. I have a chisel that goes in the same spot. There's a few things that always go in the same spot. When I'm wearing a belt, that pencil goes right back in the same spot. All efficient carpenters or tradespeople develop the habit of putting their tools right back in the same spot. The tools that they use uh, most often. Now with a tool belt like this, there's tools coming in and out all the time, but those are the, the standard ones. The pencil though, the pencil, we're talking about pencils here, goes right there when I have a tool belt. Now if I don't have a tool belt, and I really don't like wearing a tool belt as much as I once did, or I should say I don't like, uh, I didn't used to mind it as much as I do now, because it's, it's heavy, right? And I've had suspenders and everything. The older I get, the less I like this. Uh, this tool belt idea uh, hanging on my hips. But that's beside the point for now. The pencil. If I'm not using the tool belt, where does the pencil go? Well, the pencil goes right here. It goes in my hat. I almost always wear a hat and it goes right up there. And in fact, most of my hats have pencil marks in the inside where that pencil goes right up there. But even if that is what I do, there are times when because I haven't been doing carpentry work for some 20 years, more than 20 years. There are times when I use the pencil and I don't know what happens to it. It doesn't go back there. It's like, uh, where's my pencil? Oh no. You ever have that problem? Where's my pencil? I'm gonna solve that for you right now. This is my solution. Instead of putting the pencil up there, in the side of my hat, you put your pencil right there. It's right between your eyes or right in front of one eye or the other. You'll never lose your pencil if it's right there, right in front of your eyes. Now, I'm not joking. I actually do this. Maybe it's an age thing. I never did this when I was in the trade, so I usually had my belt on. But these days I have found I don't lose the pencil if it's right there. One more thing I wanna tell you related to not losing your pencil. I'm actually working on a tool belt idea that I've never seen before. Maybe you re will recall that I, the, uh, the hammer, the hammer uh, holster that I made in a recent video. That was a concept idea. Well, I got another idea. And part of this idea, I'm going to use this right here, Pencil Pro. So let's take a closer look at this little gadget. Pencil Pull Pro. That's impressive, it's for pros. And this is reviewed by pros on Amazon. They gave it a good review, a very good review. That's, that's why I bought it. Got a little, a little uh, carabiner up here. You can hook it someplace convenient. This is a retract, retractable thing about Bob here. If the literature was correct, it goes out four feet. I haven't measured it, but that's plenty sufficient. And then you have this little uh, rubbery, end that will hold your pencil. It'll hold the, the fat pencils, it, uh, carpenter pencils. It'll hold a Sharpie. And uh, yeah, that's it. Pencil Pull Pro. If you don't want to walk around with a pencil stuck in, in your hat in front of your eyeballs, this might be a good solution. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. I hope this uh, was helpful to you and that you will give me a like. I appreciate those likes and I'll see you in the next one.